Hey everyone, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. It is the weekend after Christmas. We are getting into deep winter in the DMV. It's uh, maybe 40 degrees. I think it was 36 when I got on the bike today. But I haven't ridden in two weeks and I, I had to get out, I had to go for a ride. It's been so cold this past week the 30s we had some snow I mean nothing major a dusting but we're taking a ride down in southern Maryland st. Mary's County we are about to cross over the Patuxent River Bridge which is always a nice view and we're gonna do a little ride down here we're kind of at the midway point we're going to visit uh, Maryland State Lookout Park. It's really pretty. It's a beautiful sunny day. We should get some great shots, some nice picture time. Admittedly, the ride itself is no big deal. Uh, you know, unless you have an itch to be on your bike for several hours. There are many better rides closer into DC than this one. But there aren't state parks like Lookout State Park. And having just discovered it maybe three or four weeks ago, I decided instead of heading back up to Baltimore and filming that third reservoir, I wanted to ride down here and check out that state park. So I'll put the map up on the screen, you can see it. It's about a 64 mile ride. Again, the ride itself is nothing spectacular. But if you want to be on your bike for hours, it's a great ride for that purpose. You get a nice little stop at the state park, which I'll show you. playing with a new mic setup so hopefully it'll sound better than it has been and uh, you know I'm just gonna put on some of that lovely YouTube music for you and I'm actually gonna listen to the Washington football team as they march towards a division title with hopefully an 8-8 eight eight record hate to say they could be 7-9 and still win the division. That's how bad the NFC East is this year. All I know is back in the day, I never would have missed a, a game. But <laughs> after the last 30 years of suck, I mean, it's pretty hard to convince myself to not go out for a ride on a beautiful sunny day like this in December just to watch them play, even with a division title on the line but I'll listen to the game which means you might not hear a lot of motorcycle noise because I might have to replace all the sound with the YouTube music I'd hate to have the video taken down because you hear uh, the radio broadcast <laughs> but anyways we're off I'll show you the best parts of the ride and as usual, I will put the uh, map and GPX file on my Google Drive page. You can find the link down in the comments section below. And as always, I'd certainly appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up. Put my ride, ride-related content out every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll get an alert the next time I put a video up. And I'll check in with you at the state park. Oh, and when I'm at the state park, I'll kind of try and do a little overview of my winter riding gear. You know, it was 36 degrees when I left. I'm doing okay. My feet are pretty cold. But other than that, everything else is hanging in there. And uh, The other day, someone asked me what my setup is, and I ran through it on Reddit. But I figure I'll, I'll show it to you guys in case you're looking for some suggestions. This is the 
beginning of the actual ride. You know, for those of you who don't ride in the winter, what I would say is uh, you just got to be really pay really close attention to the roads. You get down into the 30 degree area, I mean, any liquid will freeze. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty out here, it's just not, you know, it's not the most scenic ride, it's not twisty, not really twisty. Of course, as a Tale of the Dragon alum, nothing's very twisty in the DMV. <laughs> complaining about the temperature it's 41 degrees when I did uh, the first day of the Blue Ridge Park it was like 36 most of the day maybe it got up to 41 at the warmest part of the day for like an hour that was a cold day I think I was unfair about this ride I think the road's fun it's not super twisty or anything but it's not just you know straight ahead farmland I like it. Oh, you know, I think there's a big lake here that I totally forgot about. Very scenic. See, just ignore me when I describe a ride in advance. Just watch the video because it gives you a much better idea than I do. <laughs> it is a pretty little area.
Lookout State Park. That water is ice. I mean, there's like Civil War stuff you can go and see in here, but I'm not stopping for that. I just want to see the beach. Hey guys, I never knew this was here. Lived here my whole life. Might as well be the ocean. I think it is the ocean. What am I talking about? Haha. <laughs> have to look at the map. What does the map say? Yeah, that's the ocean. <laughs> uh, maybe not. There's still the Potomac and the Patuxent. Yeah, it's pretty much the ocean out there. If you look at the map. Doesn't want to come in here. Gorgeous. Look how awesome that is. Before I turn the cameras off, let me show you my my winter gear setup. Like I mentioned, I'm, I'm pretty layered. Underneath everything I have thermal layers by, it's a warm R, warm dash R, at, you get it at Cycle Gear. It's like long johns and it has this special material on the front that's like wind resistant. So I've got those long johns, same thing with socks under my boots and same thing with my terrorist ski mask. And then my jacket is a uh, Dainese Corbin D-Dry. It's got three layers. It's, you know, the mesh leather layer. And then I've got a thermal layer. And then a waterproof layer that doubles as an awesome uh, um, uh, windbreaker. Uh, so, like, this part of me is totally fine. Uh, arms are fine. I have a pair of Revit winter gloves that are really good. Uh, and with my heated grips on the bike... My hands are nice and toasty, but the outside still get a little chilly, so i got to figure that out. Um, and then I'm wearing some Tourmaster overpants because underneath with the long johns, I've got a pair of old school sweatpants with the elastic around the ankles so I can prevent wind from getting up uh, my pant legs. Uh, and this is how I ride in the winter. 
and you know it's you know movement is a little restricted just because you got so many layers underneath uh but you know uh, it is what it is i i think the hardest part about winter gear riding are the gloves because they're so thick and they restrict your you know ease of movement uh but i mean 30 degree weather you have no choice but to wear these gloves all right i am going to walk around for a bit maybe take some pictures and uh we'll be right back for the ride back all right guys real quick we'll take a look at this beach over here Just beautiful. All you need to do is forget that it's freezing out. Take a look out there and it's like an 80 degree day during the summer, right? <laughs> All right let's head back. All right. Let's hit the road. Well, guys, I did some research and figured out why the game isn't coming on anywhere. Because it's not on yet. I guess because my Washington football team is contending for a division. They pushed the game back from one to four, and I didn't even think to look. But that's okay. I don't think we're missing much. Still 41 degrees and I'm feeling it. Well guys, we still got about 10 miles to go. The rest of the ride is really what you're looking at. But this battery is running down, so I'm going to take a moment to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride related content out every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll get an alert when my new video is out. And you know, it's just a fun little ride. Uh, the big highlight is the state park, obviously. Uh, if you're not someone who wants to spend hours out on your bike in 30 and 40 degree weather, and there's no reason you should feel bad about that, uh, maybe save it for the spring. <laughs> but if you're itching to get out on your bike, it's December heading into January, and there's no way you're waiting till spring to ride, then you might as well try this one. As always, I'll put the map and GPX file on my Google Drive page. You can find the link in the description for the video. And until next week, I don't know what I'll be filming, but it'll be something cold and fun. You stay safe out there, and I'll see you soon.